Hi everyone, welcome to Science Tutorial for you. I'm going to cover the basic of waves in this video. So the first thing that you will learn in waves is that waves carry energy. It can only carry energy but not matter. Anything which has a mass is composed of matters. And waves cannot carry matters. It can only carry energy. You must have seen this diagram before, and this is a typical structure of a wave. The peak on a wave is called a crust. And the bottom point is called a trough. The distance from one peak to the next is called a wavelength. And the height of the wave, which is from the middle, to the to the crest is called an amplitude. The number of wave cycle drawn over here is 1.5 or you could say one and a half and the reason is because that is one and this is half. So this is one and a half wave cycle. Now I'd like to talk about the frequency. Frequency is the number of wave cycle per second. So it's number of wave passing in a second. And the units of frequency is Hertz, which can be also written as edge set. 50 Hertz mean 50 wave cycle per second. A different name for frequency is vibration and it can be also called as pitch. A high pitch means high frequency or a low pitch means low frequency and pitch is mostly used in musical terms. Okay, now I'd like to tell you the relationship between wavelength and frequency. They are related to each other but in an opposite way which means if frequency increases, wavelength decreases. Let me show you this with a diagram. So in this box, I'm going to, I'm going to draw high frequency. High frequency means lots of wave. And over here, I'm going to draw low frequency, which means less number of wave. So let's write high frequency. this one low frequency now if I ask you to measure the length of the wavelength and we learn that wavelength is from from the crest to the crest for this one so for this one is from here to here for a high frequency and for low frequency is from here up to here so we can see that if the frequency is high wavelength will be short and if the frequency is low the wavelength will be big so long wavelength so from this diagram we can conclude that frequency and wavelength have opposite relationship or we could call it correlation or we could call it negative correlation. Um, and the last thing that I would like to talk about is amplitude. What does the amplitude do is it decides the loudness. I have done two boxes over here. One, I'm going to make a large amplitude, and the other one, smaller amplitude. The bigger amplitude will create a louder sound. And you can see that over here is smaller amplitude, and smaller amplitude will create quiet sound. 
Okay, before I let you go, I just want to quickly ask you, how would you draw high pitch and quiet sound? Okay, high pitch mean what? High frequency. So that means you have to draw lots of wave in here. Okay, and quiet sound. Quiet sound means the amplitude has to be small. So you're going to draw lots of wave, but the amplitude is going to be smaller. So this is what you will get. So I hope you understand wavelength, frequency, and amplitude. Thank you for watching my videos. Good luck with your exams, and I'm sure you will do good.